Oh, first hit, here we go. Muffin under attack from number two from HD Family. And it is the E-Drag hits. Exactly what we'd expect to see from uh, from HD Family. Five freezes, four rages. Single E-Drag up at 12, couple of balloons coming in. The heroes in at nine. Not quite getting rid of that air defense before the first E-Drag goes down. No rages used yet. Warden ability used early. Now the balloons push through under that rage. We freeze the sweeper. That's why we've got so many freezes going on here. Queen steps inside, takes out the enemy queen. The blimp coming over the top now. Dragons hit a second wave of bombs. Loads of bombs in the middle there. Got a baby drag working on the storages on the outside as well. Blimp gets right the way through the town hall. Finds the tornado trap right at the end. Another freeze down. The balloons are going to take out that town hall. All the E-Drags have died off in the middle. We do still have the Royal Champ. King is doing some nice work on the scatter at the bottom of the base. Queen... Queen is beating on a wall, which is not surprising. RC does come in up at 2 o'clock. That's exactly where I'd expect to see it. She's going to come in. She's going to look down the bottom of the base. The balloon, single balloon in the middle, doing some nice work. Warden's doing some work in the middle as well. HT family, absolute masters of E-Drags. And they're going to start us with a nice little three star to get the war going. Absolutely smashed. One minute 20 left. Loads of time. Loads of cleanup down. No, not loads of cleanup. Loads of time for cleanup. I know what I'm trying to say. Uh, Game of Gold Geezer, welcome, man. Welcome to the stream, mate. Last few buildings remaining. Gonna get smashed. For some reason, all the archers from the Queen went around, but the Queen stuck, got stuck on a wall. As you do. Here's Zakia going in on number two. It's a horrible ring base with that max town hall sitting in the middle. In fact, all these bases are basically maxed, aren't they? We've got a Chinese smash going to be coming in. Queen charging in at this nine o'clock side we'll just I think the the beauty of these sort of ring bases is that you can see he's trying to force the queen to step down the way here but actually if she goes up it's not the end of the world blimp's gonna come over the top freezes the headhunters in the cc oh finds a whole load of bombs but we get in where as far as we need to there and we got the rest of the funnel created. Yetis are not going to get to the town hall, but they'll clear out a big old section of the base. And we can see the path that we've got created here. Only one side of it created so far. Queen's going to get held up on the hound for a little while. And there's the super wall breakers coming in at the bottom of the base. We've got one either side of six o'clock. King comes in over at five with the witches. And then the other gap is for the Pecos to come in with those super wizards in behind. King's going to take all the tanking for that eagle. Queen will join up with this uh, this Pekka push in a second. Pops the king ability to force these Pekkas through that jump spell. King's got held up on a wall. Oh, everything's, everything's going around. We pop the Queen ability, because nothing's going to the Town Hall, the Queen's on the Town Hall. So protecting these uh, healers and balloons from the rays coming out the Town Hall, not the Poison spell. Queen is in that Poison spell though, so she's going to go down fairly quickly. Do get some extra value out of her there. Chaining off the, um, the, the Super Wizards as well. Queen goes down and the Unicorn's going to die off as well. Freeze on the single target Inferno at the top of the base. Not much left. This, this is looking good. RC ability pops, gets rid of a bunch of Teslas, gets those cannons super weak as well. Only a couple of defenses left. We have the invisibility spell. Use it on the RC because why not? And there we go. Lovely job. That's a three star for each side. Exactly what we want to see. Iske. Going in with a queen charge, going to charge straight at the town hall. There's a queen charge Lalo we've got on here. There's a lot of point defense she's going in there. Two ground expos. 
We poison the headhunters that come out of the CC. That means we've not got them for the, the poison for the for the hounds. Law point defense there as well. King just uh, just down at six o'clock there. Queen's gonna work on um on those pops. Should get through easy enough. Single wizard there as well. Super wall break in for the king and push him into that scatter. Get some extra value out of that out of that king. So he's not just clearing out trash, he's getting through that wall into that scatter shot. Queen doing a lovely job of just staying just outside that poison from the town hall as well. Now she's working on sweepers, and that's about all we're expecting from this uh, queen charge, I think. We do have one more super wall break. Rage is down. She's going to be able to get the enemy queen. Now the Lalo starts, and yeah, the queen is just on a little bit of a little bit of a jolly now. She can just cut her own detail. Loads of loads of cleanup going down early as well. Bloons taking a while to get into that air defense. The first hound pops. RC's in there as well, and the RC's looking pretty low already. RC's popped her ability, skips the uh, shield through. We still have the slammer, and it's coming in on that Molly. Over at, uh, over at the RC, over at 11 or 10 o'clock, and uh, the freeze on that multi and on the Royal Champ takes, uh, almost takes out the Royal Champ. The balloons are now hanging right back, we've got one more multi to go, Queen is stuck in the Tornado Trap, which means that the balloons aren't going to get stuck in it, so that's all good. Queen actually contributing so late on the Warden ability, how have you got that Warden ability that late on? Incredible. That's another 3 star. This uh, this is going to be a tight war again. Incredible. You know you've got the, got that invisibility spell. We might see uh, the old uh, super swag going on in a second. There we go. Happy days. <laughs> Skempy, hello man. Here's muffin going in. And it's an Inferno drag hit, okay. Right, Yeti over at 11. Probably when the Yeti mites to try and take out that, uh, oh, it doesn't quite get the air defense taken out with the Yeti mites. Now that the, the Yeti's been targeted by the Archer Tower, we're starting to get some Yeti mites jumping out and attacking that air defense. Not quite, oh, there's the wizard in to help out, and there we go, we get it done. Then we've got one skeleton spell in with the heroes over at three. Took a while to get that, um... Took a while to get that air defense down, but we've got to go and it's not like time is an issue with Infernal Drags. Warn ability super early, Slammer coming in as well. We've got that super wall break in, so we want the king and queen. We're actually using these skeleton spells with the heroes to push these heroes in with a uh, tank in the point defense and getting the king and queen all the way in. Up at the top, we're using freezes on that multi. And th that's all we're using though. Queen now targeting the town hall. King's clearing out everything else. This is really interesting. Slammer in with the dragons, doing some nice tanking in the middle. RC now coming in at the top of the base. has found the Tesla farm. The... Dragons are getting targeted, we've got two back in scatters here, which is a little bit tricky. Skeleton spells in there, RC's got held up on a bunch of ground skellies. Is going to get done, has had to use her ability already. The skeleton's got rid of that cannon, now that RC gets rid of the scatter. Uh, at the back end, there's still a wizard tower, an archer tower, and a cannon, a couple of archer towers actually. And we don't have very much left on cleanup. So the problem with the heroes going down and taking out that uh, the town hall meant that it protected the infernal drags from the town hall, but it didn't protect the heroes. RC goes down, but the lassie is still up. Oh, uh, the hero, the, does the unicorn heal the lassie? No, lassie is gone, and it's going to be a 90 odd percent two here. What's this unicorn healing? A minion, right, okay. A uh, muffin coming in short. And it's not going to be a 3, a 91, we might get a couple more percent here. But that's, uh, that's a bit rough. 
That was looking so strong, man. I really liked the, the wall break in for the heroes at the town hall. Have I written this off too soon? Wizards take out the wizard tower, but doesn't manage to get round to the to the archer tower as well. And we're going to talk amongst ourselves while, uh, while the single archer works on a collector. There we go. 95% is what we're going to stick at. The first star dropped in this war. Right, here we go. Quinky going in on Tim. It's another E-Drag hit. They started with an E-Drag hit. This is their speciality. So we got a single E-Drag up the top of the base. Only three Coco Loons down right in the middle. Heroes are down at three. Super wall break in again to give the king access into that uh, eagle artillery. Warn ability super early with a double rage down. Heroes continuing around the bottom of the base. Freeze on the sweeper and the multi right in the centre of the base. King's ability pops and we're trying to force these uh, these dragons back towards that multi in the middle. Freeze on the air defence and that allows the baby drag and balloon to get into it. Blimp over the top. We've cle kind of cleared a path. Not all the way. That little trough there. There we go, there's a black bomb, we put a free spell down and a rage, committing two spells to take out that town hall. Dragon sitting in that poison spell, gets rid of one expo, RC comes in from 9 o'clock. This is looking, this is looking pretty good at the moment. Still quite a few defences up, we've got two E-drags up and then one up at the top, doing a little bit of clean up already. RC did get caught in that tornado trap and pulled in towards the town hall. And uh, we had to use our ability there, but now it's just a case of cleanup. And that is a double three. Stanley, Venky Stanley, thank you very much for following on. And that is another three star for HD family. Flavio Titan, you love Marno. We all do, don't we? Apparently. Here's Lewis. Going in on Don, Don X. Loads of zap value there. Gets rid of a bunch of builder huts and the scatter shot. Now blimps into the town hall. Just pick up a couple of bombs but gets in there anyway and doesn't find the tornado trap. Yeti up at 9. Clearing out a couple of storages and the cannon. There's also a uh, Sneaky Gob helping out that Yeti as well. Couple of Sneaky Gobs and that's forcing the King down towards this multi-target Inferno compartment that we've carved a little gap in already with a super wall break. Bloon on the, was that an Archer Tower there? Another Sneaky Goblin in as well, just to make sure that these heroes definitely want to step in. Wow, this is, uh, this is nice already, I'm loving this. King pops the ability, gonna get through that multi. RC coming in on the cannon, the Tesla, just all the, just little pocket defences down at, uh, around where the town hall was before it got smashed. Now we get into that CC pool, poison spells down early, it's also down on the enemy RC. Queen is concentrating on the Hound, which does mean that the King's kind of struggling against the RC on his own and those uh, CC troops. The poison spell just wears off and unfortunately Queen has to go to ability. RC still continuing around the bottom of the base. This is lovely. It's a single up the top so once the Hound pops we'll have a little bit of tankage going on through these pops and through the balloons. Oh, the RC doesn't quite make it to that expo. We throw a few balloons at that expo down the bottom of the base. RC is round at the 3 o'clock. Infernal Tower doesn't quite get it taken out. We freeze the scatter, hoping to get that taken out. Oh no, Warden ability. We still had the Warden ability. That's amazing. The Warden ability um, protects those balloons against the scatter shot. And now there's just nothing left of this base. It's absolutely smashed. The only thing we've got left, the only defense that's going to, the last defense that's going to be standing is going to be that sweeper right in the middle of the base. And that will hold things up a little bit. We've got cleanup down. 
Maybe we need something on that uh, army camp over at 10 o'clock there. We decide not to bother with the army camp at 10. Freezes the sweeper. Now we get some pups going to that, air, uh, that storage in the middle. Lovely job. There we go. I wish you could speed up clean up, eh? Just two times speed. Oh, there's a tornado trap! Oh, and a red bomb popped! Oh, wait there now. Oh, oh, it's okay, we've got it. Couple of minions already working out. Just a wee bit of excitement at the end there, just when I thought it was all fine. Jinmu going in on Epi. Hoops, hello man. So Warden walking this air defence up the top. I mean, we might be trying to get all the way into the eagle to be honest. We've got a log launcher selected at the moment. Super Bowl breaks gets uh, past that Tesla over at 9. I think that's where we want the king to step into. We've also got another Super Bowl breaking at 10. That's for the Pekkas. Single Wizard in with the Warden to try and get rid of uh, those skeletons quickly. Rages the Warden and the healers. Mainly they keep the healers up because of the uh, couple of point defences going on at the Warden at the moment. Archer over at 3, start some clean up as well. Ice Golem King, couple of witches to run down the side of the bed. <laughs> Log Launcher is an interesting um, choice here. It's going to do some nice work. It will activate the Town Hall just a little bit and there's builds around so we won't get the value of that but it does create a nice little path through the middle of the base. Which is a kind of um, a little bit slow around the edge. I think they're getting targeted by that mortar on the right on the edge of the base. That's slowing everything up just a little bit. Heroes hanging right at the back. The Log Launcher pops and the Yetis come out. They target the Enemy RC, I, I don't know. We've still got the R, uh, still got the uh, Warden ability here. There's not really much left at all, guys. This is looking a little bit ropey. Tornado trap holds everything up as well. We pop the Warden ability. RC now coming in. We're trying to get the RC to clear out some of these defences so that the King goes right in at the Town Hall. The RC takes on the Town Hall, but she found a giant bomb at the same time. There's a jump spell there as well, trying to force the Queen to jump into the Town Hall. We are going to get the Town Hall, but it's going to be a low percent here. So that's going to tie us up on stars. I think it was 95, if I remember rightly. 95 that uh, Penta got. So if we can get up to 95%, but that's a lot of percent that we need to make up just now. Do still have the Queen ability. Yeah, it did kind of swag that Warren ability. It was maybe a... a he, he thought he'd clicked it with your hand, but everything kind of died in the middle. 82%. It's going to be... It's going to be an 84%. This baby drag... Uh, time is a... Time is against us. 84%. That puts Penta in the lead. Here's Epi going in on Jinmu. And it's a Super Witch Bat. Nice job. So Warden walking. I, what are we... Where are we Warden walking here? What's the, what's, what are we trying to get? I think we're just trying to create a bit of a funnel so that these uh, witches go in towards that scatter and they don't stray up towards that town hall. Got the blimp selected and that'll be what will get thrown in at the town hall. Look at how tight this is. So the king's on that cannon. He continues around the bottom of the base. Now the Super Witches are in, the, the, the Super Wall Break it hasn't got through the wall, there's the second Super Wall Break now. 
Now the Super Witches get motoring. Colin the time fail, hands he's got bats in the bag. Blimp on the town hall, gets that taken out. We're going for a safe blimp. No spells used. Rages and wardens the uh, the witches in the middle as the hound pops. Couple of bloons in there as well. We don't quite get rid of that Molly. The jump spell is down and it's reaching right the way to the second scar. But oh, it's a long way. And the path is a little bit challenging here. RC coming in at the bottom, trying to force these witches in towards that central single target inferno, the Molly in there. Oh, RC's going to sneak right the way around the bottom of the base here. Now the bat's coming as well. The RC is tanking the scatter shot just now. The wizard tower up the top there. Queen needs to get that Molly. Now we freeze the wizard tower. Pops the uh, pops the RC ability. Tornado trap. Worst thing for bats, a tornado trap. We lost about half our bats there. Warden does finish off. Oh, but bit off on the freezer. We didn't need that last freeze. And we could use that somewhere else potentially. The bats are going to keep going, but we don't have loads of them there. Two Expos, Warden, there's another freeze down on the on the air Expo there. The big boy was tanking the ground Expo for the RC just a second. The RC now dies off. There's about three defences left. There's a bit of cleanup around the base. Is there enough? 20 second bats move fast, but do they fa do they move fast enough? I don't think they do, by the way. The RC's there, the bats getting held up on the heroes. This is what it's all about. They're held up on the worst thing. They're held up on the king. They're, they're getting through him first. And it's a time fail. It's a 91%. That was Penta's opportunity to go ahead. Here we go. If they three star, they win. It's that simple. Super Bowl breaks into the Eagle. King is in there already. Ice Golem out in front. Now the Queen following up. We've got a Wizard working over at 9 as well. Second Super Bowl break does get in. I wasn't sure if that was going to open it up. King getting some nice value. Getting all the way into the Wizard Tower. Uh, under his ability, all those barbs distracting a lot of defences. RC coming in on the Eagle. Not, um, not quite getting as far as the CC. Or that Malty. I'm not sure if the Sui's gone exactly to plan. The Queen was meant to stay inside the base. The fact that she's around the edge is going to cause some issues. RC's getting some nice value. Oh, almost gets that multi down. Queen's ability is going to be forced by the Infernal Tower in a second. There we go. Now the... Okay, so we throw the blimp. We're going to pop that blimp over that central multi-target Inferno. We've then got some of the Lalo coming in from the bottom of the base and a pack of balloons coming in from the top. Rage and... Is there skeleton spells in there as well? Rage and skellies in the middle. Skellies to distract the the royal champ. Headhunters are working on the hound now. They'll die off before they get it done. This is high risk. The town hall's not down yet. And the warden's lagging behind. Pops the warden ability early. The balloons don't track to the town hall. Oh, it's, uh, the town hall's going to go down. No. Town hall is still standing. The hound took out the town hall. Wow. And those balloons are going to die off now. This is not going to be three. This is a low two. And that gives a glimmer of hope. Just a glimmer of hope to Penta. Can Penta steal this with their final hit? I'll have to check percent. The Hound is running around the base, distracting Pops and uh, Minions. The Owl's doing a ton of work in the middle. Owl versus Build in the middle. Baby Drag up the top of the base now gets locked onto by the multi-target Inferno and by the Archer Tower. 
when it goes down, the minions in range as well, and this uh, this attack is done. But we're going to have to watch it all, apparently. So let's check what the percent is looking at now. That's, uh, that's interesting. Three star wins it for Penta. Tim, if he three stars, they win the war. And he's got a super archer smash. Absolutely brilliant. I love this attack, man. I need to practice this. I think this looks like so much fun. Take it away, I'll get going. <laughs> there we go. Right on the uh, right on the three minute mark. Warden coming in at uh, two well, kinda two thirty ish. Gollum's gone on a bit of a journey there. Warden walk has started nicely. Um, Amico Bat, thank you for the follow. Hans, it's 10 stars to 13 at the moment, so they need the three stars. That's that's the main thing. Percent's not as much of an issue. <laughs> Super wall breaks in. Oh. Misses the uh, misses the freeze. Not really needing that freeze there, but we get the um get the eagle down early. CC troops come out. We've still got loads of super archers. This is looking okay at the moment. The golem has proper wandered. But the golem's really there to tank for the eagle, so... The fact that he's out there, the eagle's already down, so it's not too big a deal. Single golem can't do much against a multi-target inferno. We use the warn ability on the blimp and the, the archers to keep them alive. Archers helping out on the town hall by shooting that inferno tower and ripping right the way through. They continue to work. The range on these super archers is crazy. That scatter shot up at uh, nine is looking dangerous. And there we go. We get the RC in in time so that she's taking the attention and protecting these super archers. It's not as much about getting the uh, getting the RC in on the uh, scatter shot. It's about uh, tanking for the super archers over the other side of the base. We pop the queen ability on the single. RC is now going to come through as well. That jump spell is still active. Not many defenses left at all. We have used the RC ability. We've got one freeze left. Whoa. RC, I think we'll go down. She's got one healer working on her as well. We do have a freeze. We're going to free save the freeze for the super archers. We freeze the back end. Uh, Tesla and Archer Tower trying to get in that RC as far forward as possible. There's a giant bomb there. The RC triggers it ahead of the Archers getting in. This is so close, but I think we've got it. Loads of time left, and it's a three star, and Penta take the win. Penta take the win. 13 stars all. There you go, 97.2 to 93.2%.